It's a new dawn, it's a new day. Wow, that has been a long time since I've said that. I think about six months. But anyways, today I want to uh, tell you how to not clean your motorcycle chain. All right, so it's been a while since I've made a video, uh, mainly because of new apartment, renovations, new studies, and all of that, bad weather and ugh. But uh, I'm gonna go back to it. Uh, the first video now that I want to make is uh, you know, something happened with my finger, it uh, looks a bit gross because it was uh, nearly severed while I was uh, cleaning my motorcycle chain. I think most people know not to do what I did, but for some people that don't know, or the people that are like, oh, it's gonna be fine, maybe with this video I can scare you guys a little bit uh, and warn you not to do this. I almost did not make this video because I'm actually really embarrassed about this fact. Uh, it was so stupid of me. But I, I do make it because I think there's a lot of people out there that maybe just take a risk um, about things like this. Not only just cleaning but riding in, in general, just uh, taking corners and you know, they know not, not to do some stuff but everybody feels invincible and uh, immortal and they just do it. Um, at least that's what I do, um, stupidly enough. Um, I guess I'm just this kind of guy that has to uh, stick his hand into the fire before he believes it's warm uh, and then get burnt and then uh, feel stupid afterwards. So I think most people can already guess what I did wrong um, because there was a lot of videos just like this one that say not to do this. So I set the bike on the center stand, put the bike in first gear and let the chain roll. Uh, so that you can uh, spray it uh, while it's just rolling so that you don't have to uh, do this movement with your uh, hands to uh, turn the wheel. Uh, it's a lot faster that way but it's a lot more stupid as well. I was almost done with it too, I, I just had to uh, dry it before I, uh, I greased it up again and with drying it I, I put my hand in this little like towel and uh, I was holding the chain while it, while it was running to dry it a, a, a bit. I was, I was not holding it firm uh, but just a little bit like on both sides to really make sure it's dry and then the towel got stuck in the sprocket and yeah my hand was in the towel so my hand went through the whole sprocket and then uh, yeah it came out and uh, I was just looking at it like hmm this is not good, uh, this is uh, lost, it was almost severed, it was, uh, yeah, it was gross, And uh, but I just, I, I didn't panic, I just, I, I went inside and got some paper and uh, put it around it, called uh, 911, or uh, what we in Belgium have, 112, and um, yeah, called an ambulance, and then they took me away, and I, w I just, had to wait another five hours in the hospital before they uh, operated on me because I just had dinner. Uh, so yeah, it's a bit more healed now, so I think I can show it on YouTube. You can see, like, uh, the cut, it was like this. Um, yeah, the other side's a bit more gross, but uh, yeah. It was cut like like this, and uh, all, all top of it, I just cannot feel anymore. It's just, uh, it feels like something else. Is attached to my body now. Um, I cannot move it, I cannot bend it yet, um, it's still healing but the most part of the wound itself is closed already, the, the little threads are out. Uh, they told me to wait a couple of weeks to write and that's exactly what I uh, did and am doing. So this whole thing it was three days after my 26th birthday, it was the uh, 3rd of March that it happened and now we're like the 21st so it's been like around three weeks since it happened so if you're watching this video and you're just thinking like yeah this guy is stupid and this guy is uh, really unfortunate and you just have to be careful while, while doing it um, please just realize that I'm the same way and uh, it's just a big no-no just don't do it it's not really any beneficial just it takes a bit longer to turn the wheel and I mean better have all your fingers and uh, have nothing wrong with you than uh, you know being super fast with cleaning your chain. I kind of hate saying that I'm that type of guy that just don't doesn't take advice or doesn't take it seriously and just I'm always in my head like it's gonna be okay everything is gonna work out I'm just that positive in my life and I always think things are gonna work out but sometimes they just don't sometimes you have to think and uh, yeah that's what I want to make clear to you to everybody watching. But okay, that was all the serious talk. 
For the people that are wondering, uh, I'm gonna still make videos in the future. I hope this summer is gonna be, uh, you know, a lot of uh, videos coming out. I'm not gonna make like every week videos anymore because I just think that takes away a bit of the fun of riding. I'm just in my head always thinking about the video and not just enjoying the ride. I think you can actually see this in my last couple of videos that I was just uh, filming less and less and less because I wanted to enjoy myself and then the videos got less good than I wanted them to be and I was just up uploading videos because I wanted to upload weekly. So in the future if there is a video it will be a good video and maybe not weekly because I really do enjoy making videos as well so but there has to be a balance so this summer I'm gonna go to Croatia and uh, I'm gonna do some other things as well so I hope you stay tuned on this channel subscribe if you aren't already and yeah the new outro hmm what was it again stay bright and upright alright hey that alright part was new okay